Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to another let's play of Civilization V Brave New World. We're going to play as Indonesia on an Oceania map, difficulty 6, advanced game pace, legendary start, otherwise everything else is pretty much normal. So let's go. Honor be with you, O great hero Gayamada, Prime Minister of Mayapit, and unifier of the Indonesian archipelago. The stories of your heroism on the battlefield are bested only by the legends of your sworn oath to unite the far-flung islands of Indonesia under one banner. Serving your queen and empire with loyalty, you not only strove to fulfill your oath and conquered any who stood in your path, but you succeeded in capturing what was then the entirety of the known archipelago, the first to unite what is today modern Indonesia. Mighty warrior Gahamada, your people yearn for a strong leader who can return them to prosperity. Will you set out to conquer the neighboring kingdoms, further expanding the glory of your empire? Will you build a civilization that can stand the test of time? All right, so our special ability is Spice Islanders. The first three cities found on the continents where Indonesia started provides two unique luxury resources and they can never be raised. That's pretty much the reason why I'm playing on an Oceania map. The uh, unique unit is the Chris Swordsman, which replaces the Swordsman. It has a special weapon whose ability is revealed after the first battle. So they effectively get a very, very unique promotion. And I don't think it's a generic promotion either. And they have the unique ability, the Kandi, which replaces the Garden. Gives plus two faith for each world religion that has at least one follower in the city. So that's going to, you know, be an extra two faith, I'd say, per, which is fine. Anyway, uh, you might notice that I have some inf different information. It's because I'm running the enhanced user interface, uh, which is a mod, but it's put in the DLC, so it works. But it is quite lovely. I, I like it so far. I haven't actually played a game with it, so I might be removing it if it causes bugs. But anyway, this start is eh. It's not great. It's grassland, but there are lots of mountains around, which is okay. Um, I'm going to go with the Monument Start. Well, yeah, the Monument Start because this is going to be a tiny island. And as a result, there's not going to be as many people around. Or it's not as much, not as much to, you know, explore. So I'll probably want to put only about one city in there. So we're going we're gonna to go for this. We're going to, because there's three wonders I would like. Actually, scratch that. We're going to go writing, archery, calendar. Nope. Nope. Masonry, calendar, and then... Uh, yeah. Optics. Because I would really like the lighthouse relatively quickly, given that I have four resources there. Getting, um... Getting the bonus... The religious bonus plus one production from uh, naval tiles will probably be to my benefit, given that I'm probably going to play as a bit of an expander. We got marble down here, and a de desert's never hurt. Assuming that you know how to use them. And I'm on my wrong gaming profile. Let me change that. I just go ahead and click next turn while I'm doing that. There it is. So I like a city right here. We got fresh water next to a desert, access to two fish. Not a tremendously good city location, but if we're going to have city states over here, I mean, geez. So I'm not at all used to this. Uh, hopefully, you know, it won't, like, ruin me. I'm trying it out. I like it's, you know, once again so far. I haven't played a game with it yet. So this is this is kind of like a test run. I'm assuming that it won't break the save because it's just a GUI thing. And as a result, it sh shouldn't change any core files. So I should be able to just reload the save without it. It's kind of nice how it shows the uh, potential to... 
But anyway, did I mention we're going to go for a monument because I'm not going to be exploring? Probably. There's not much to explore until I can actually get in the water. So until then... Um, we don't really need a scout, so let's start the worker. We'll start the worker. I'll probably go for a shrine to try to get the, uh, religion early on. Hmm, cattle. That's nice. Yay! Hmm. You're gonna be a little bit useless unless there's a decent spot over here. Yeah, there's not gonna be a lot of exploration initially. Ooh. Well, yeah, in terms of... Because, I'm A, I'm not a good explorer, especially not over water. But B, because I'm... Shall the cliff. Got to foc focusing on other stuff, too. Though there seems to be a little bit of land over there. So I definitely see one sea location here I got access to the marble. Oh, we actually found ruins. Dirty culture. Uh, we're going to go down tradition. I uh, For what I want. I mean, liberty is always a good thing, I think. But I think tradition is just all around better. And for what I want to do, it's also a little bit more appropriate. I don't think we're going to have very many barbarian troubles. So I don't think I'm going to go down honor, at least not initially. Silk over here. This wouldn't be a bad seed location right where my guy is right now. We got access to a little few, a few resources. Any adjacent to a desert tile. Which is a good thing. A cattle out here. Oh, and I just realized I got that. Six turns. You know what? We're going to finish the worker. Um, is there a way to add to Q? Do I just click on them? Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, and we're gonna go for the early -esk, the early-ish wonder. But here's the question, should I go for piety? I mean, I've got two policies really early, and going religious wouldn't be bad, and it cuts the uh, time it takes to build shrines and temples in half. Yeah, I think so. I'll probably go down tradition and piety and rationalism. So I like that. That boost in culture really helped kickstart. It's going to be a nice little kickstart. we got, what, 15 turns now? That's what that means? Getting six per turn... So we're going another policy pretty quick. Oh, there's even more land this way. Interesting. I wasn't expecting there to be so much land. Another potential city location. Like all like all the fresh water. And yeah, I want to move to where I can build a farm. Because that's all I can build right now. Because I normally wouldn't have a worker this early. Jakarta is going to be a very lovely city. It's going to it's gonna have nice growth and decent production. A cruelly drawn map. Which showed me ruins. So assuming I get those ruins and those ruins are spectacular. In whatever way they're spectacular. Wow, I'm getting a lot of production. Other production showing down here. That's odd. Um, let me get my display out. Oops, wrong button. Seven percent. Yeah, seven production already. Although it says here six, so it's a little bit behind. But yeah. Heck, you know what? Let's go for. Ah, uh, see, that's two techs away though. 
Yeah, I like this. I like this setup. Then I'm not gonna go for the pyramids, but I want the mausoleum, and I would like the Temple of Artemis because I was just, I I just recently was informed of how this works. It's ten percent on your base in all cities, not on your um your excess food. So for example, you're getting um. Uh, Three extra food. So most ten, no, most multipliers, including the ones in tradition, will say, "Okay, so that's going to be ten percent of three is three point three. But in reality, it's going to be no, it's seven. Ten percent of seven, so it's point seven. So that is a substantial increase. So that's something that I think I'm going to want for every game now. Um, but for this difficulty, I still think rushing for the uh, great library is very smart. What a worthless pantheon. We got some barbs. Population. Didn't I just grow? Yeah, we're size four. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, more ruins. We're going to shoot for those. What a nice island. I may want to just settle this island first. I think a city right here. And then a city here. Yeah, and then a city over there. So that's three other cities here. I mean, heck, with this growth, assuming that I get everything that I want and I can have, you know, good stuff out, I think we'll absolutely go for that. Um, what do I want? I could go for the second worker instead of the granary. Uh, is that really necessary? Given that a lot of my tiles are actually going to be water tiles, at least for this city, I don't think that's a good idea. So we're going to go for the granary. It doesn't give me any bonuses directly but the extra two food doesn't hurt i'm going to stop it in order to build a great library though weapons okay absolutely okay that is absolutely okay by me That's terrible. So we got three turns. I'll actually go ahead and grab Honor, I guess. I'll probably have to deal with him on the ocean, too. So it's not a terrible idea to do. Uh, just the first one in Honor. Such a significant bonus. He who destroyed... Um, do, 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 are we attacking over a river? So I don't want to do that. And the Great Library... It's a 40-turn wonder. Ugh, maybe I should get... Uh, Culture from plantations. I'm gonna get the extra production from work boats. You know, probably getting like the faith from stone circles would be a, a really legitimate one. Uh, did you get attacked? Uh, anyway, you know what? I'm gonna go for. I'm going wonder heavy early game. So let's go ahead and get uh, aristocracy. That's a little bit better uh, in my mind. And then we'll get more food and. You're not only getting me one food from that, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, until we get more things, it's to be expected. So 32, 32 turns from now is turn 70, which is actually not that good in the grand scheme of things. I probably should shop. How long do you finish this farm? 10 turns? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm really hesitant to chop down these forests, though. This is the only one I should chop because it's in my borders. And you killed that. Wow, they were aggressive. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and finish. That's five turns. It's going to be 26 turns. Yeah, let's go for this first. Twenty. Actually, is that going to finish up calendar in time? I could rush construction, but that's not really what I like to do. Shoot. Um. Let's go and finish archery then. Well, if I do this right, then this is probably the best route. No wait. Uh, what am I doing? Calendar 
first. Oh no, mining first, then calendar. It's 25 turns. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Finish up that. Grab this. And then go for optics and then mathematics. Got 100 gold already. get some more ma oh yeah I need this to chop down a forest that's the other thing right glad I kind of remembered that not really though so timing works out actually kind of I'll be a turn wasted but oh well uh, there's an encampment over there too that that's going to be more of a problem. Let's go ahead and head back. See, if I chop, I'm going to have to get calendar a little bit more quickly. I think. I can always switch production right before. God King. Gosh darn it, man. There's a lot of them going. Chop, chop. Only shaved off a turn. You're working those tiles. Don't hate it. could go for Stonehenge, too. I mean, all the early wonders are really good. Oh, jeez. There's another encampment there, huh? Okay, well, I guess I am going to go for the, uh... There's nothing else for you to do for a while, so you do this. I guess I am going to go down Honor next. And how much to buy... 270 for a warrior really rather not. Gosh darn it. Stop doing that. That's a good one too. So that 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 person could be a huge threat. Um, and why don't I go ahead and pledge to protect. Yeah. So with the chop, it's actually working out okay. And then I'll have far more science done. I really need to get tiles worked, but I need the text. So it's kind of like an eh moment. Yeah, it's a decisive. You know, let's hold back because I actually want to get and let's uh, turn this off. Okay. Let's wait until I get honor because then I'll take less damage and get culture out of taking out units. Honor. That 
reveal him, encampment. I already know about that one. Whatever. Size of victory will give me about a turn of culture. Okay, well, here we are at turn 65. I'm going to cut the video off here. So thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.